solo ya le voy a decir. Ajá. Ok. Ajá, donde de ocupar el for size. Mm. Es, la, es la última. Pero for es, size. Ajá, pero es la, como hay un examen que va literal A, literal B. Entonces en el A es de poner el have, has, haven. Y en la segunda parte de esa misma es donde teníamos te a ocupar for y el size. Uh -huh. Miren, que yo voy a ver por qué. Pero no sé. No me aparece. Es la última del B. Ah, lo Dice, último. No, he has never been in the high slide. It's in his life. Uh -huh. Ah, no, he has never. Dice. No has never. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, entonces ahí es el had. Es had. Porque acuérdese que está diciendo complete the use the present perfect of the verbs given in bracket. O sea, ¿cuál es el, el del cómo se usa ese have en el present perfect? No es una contraction. No es negativa porque no puedo poner haven. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ahí está, no, he has never. Ahí está uh -huh. ya. Pero ese have, que es el verbo que están usando ahí, usted tiene que, que, que cómo, ajá, cómo conjugarlo. Ajá. Mm. Uh -huh. ah, pues sí, esa era la última que tenía. Es la última que Yo tenía. voy ahí en la, en la tres. <ríe> en la D, en la parte de ahí me he quedado que no me lo acepta ninguno. Y yo enoja, no, yo he dejado unas, pero porque va, por ejemplo, el de los audios tuve problema. O sea, yo no sé si en el dispositivo si no lo no, no entro, sino que lo entro desde mi máquina. O tendría que ser más rápido, pues, pero los audios no los escucho. Yo sé que ese problema lo tuvo también mi compañera Laura, por eso ella pidió el audio, si usted se fijó, lo pidió aparte, igual yo. Yo he tenido que usar el audio en mi celular y trabajar en la computadora también. No sé por qué. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello, ladies. How are you doing? I miss you. Hey. Hi, teacher. Me too. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about <laughs> yesterday. It was really not on my hands. <clears throat> uh, but I, I really thank you for your comprehension on my yeah. absence yesterday. So <laughs> I hope I hope you're hey. doing good. How are you doing? Jenny, Anna, Catherine, good evening. How are you doing tonight? Uh, it is nice. Nothing special about it. Only it's in the class. I learn all right. more. All right. All right. Finishing the day the best way with your English class. How are you doing, Miss Catherine Ramirez? Hello. Hi, I'm fine. Can you hear me, Catherine? I'm fine. Oh. I'm sorry. I think you're you're breaking up a little bit, but I could hear you that you're fine. Okay, Miss Anna Jansi. Good evening. How are you doing there? Good evening, teacher. How are you? Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> Three days in my house. In your house? Okay, better place. Yeah. There's no better place than your house. <laughs> home sweet home. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So welcome then, welcome then. Um, I really missed my class yesterday also. Um, I need to talk to my my boss, Mr. Jimmy, to, to see if we maybe have class this this Friday or if we are going to add just one more day um, to the end of the module, but I'm going to confirm that information later, okay? 
So today we're going to practice quantifiers, okay? Quantifiers. We have um, a, two different categories of quantifiers, yes? Do you know the two categories for the quantifiers? No, yes, you know, yes, you know. You don't remember maybe, but yes, you know. Um, we have countable, countable nouns, yes, you do, and non-countable nouns, right? So it's very important to distinguish the difference between nouns that you can count in nouns that you cannot count, yeah? So with that being said, uh, let me explain to you a little bit. I'm going to share my screen to my notepad so we can explain a little bit. What is the, um, well, we have countable and non-countable noun. So we have, um, for example, how, Many. Let's start with how many. Okay. So how many? You can say how many and you need a countable noun. We're going to use are there. Are there. Because it's plural, right? How many is, is for plurals is for countable is many things okay for example oops okay how many for example how many members are there in your family how many members are there in your family? Jenny, how many members are there in your family? Um, there are, in, in my family, personal family or, or the whole family? Your, 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 your family, family, like your husband, uh, your only two children. No, only two. Only two. Yeah. So there but are only two. Yeah. There are only two. Okay. Okay. That's a small family then. It's a very small family, huh? Okay. How about you, Catherine? How many members are there in your family? Um, there are two members. Two My members, family. just, okay, it's a small family mm -hmm. also. Okay, what about you, Karen? How many members are there in your family? Hi, teacher. Uh, my family, um, there are two members también. Okay, there are two members also. You can say also. There are two members also. Repeat also. Also. Also means también. Y si quieres sonar más, like more elegant, you can say as well. As Repeat. well. Okay. Yeah. There are two members as well. Okay. Cool. 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 Okay. So let me change the question. Can you give me a countable noun? For example, I say members, family members, for example. Can you give me a countable noun? Let's change this question. How many students are there in this class right now? There are seven students. Yes, there are seven students. Oh, but Caleb Nunez is not a student, he's a teacher. There are six. Ah, six. 
So students. there are there are six students. There are there are six. There are what? There are six students. 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 All right. There are six students. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very nice. Can you can you help me with the question? Uh, Anna, Jancy, can you make a question? How many? Countable. How many? Hello? How many? Um... I don't know. <laughs> Countable nouns. You need How to think many? of countable nouns. For example, for example, if you're talking about food, you can say tomatoes, potatoes, bananas, oranges, apples, uh, eggplants. What? Apple. Apple. So how many apples are there? Apples are there in the fridge, for example. How many apples okay. are there in the fridge? So that's a, that's a question. That's a question for how many, because how many is for countable nouns, okay? How many activities do you have for today? How many classes do you have for today? How many goals, goals, objectives? How many goals do you have for this year? How many goals? Oh, how many, how many, Recibos. How do you say recibos? Bills. Bills. How many bills do you have to pay this month? How many bills are there for today? Ah, oh, so that's a countable, that's a countable noun question. Okay. Could you make a question using how many? Uh, Catherine? Um, how many how many TV uh, TV in two house are there? Okay, how many TVs plural? How many TVs yes. are there in your house? Uh, That's a good question. How many TVs are there in two house? In my house, there is only one TV. <laughs> and how about in your house, Jenny? How many TVs are there in your house? There are two TVs in my house. There are two TVs in your house. How many, how many rooms? How many rooms? R-O-O-M-S. How many rooms are there in your house, Jenny? Uh, there are four rooms in my house there are four rooms in your house now four the number four you can use the number or you can use a quantifier you can say there are four rooms or you can say there are a few rooms a few represents four or five so you can use numbers or you can use quantifiers okay very good. How many rooms? Okay, so let's check questions with how much? How much? Let me just go share now my screen once again. How much? How much you're gonna use it with, with non-countable nouns? how much okay and if you say something with how much then you're gonna use you're gonna use is okay how much okay for example crime for example violence it's non-countable salt how many, how much, I'm sorry, how much salt, how much sugar, how much rice, how much love, yes, something that is not countable, 
how much money, okay? How much work is there for today? Okay, so think of non-countable noun. The answer is gonna be there is. There is because it's something that is not countable. For example, how much corruption Corruption is something that is not countable, okay? How much milk, liquids, milk? How much milk do you, hey, I have a question for you. How much water, that's, people ask questions like that. Hey, teacher, hey, do you drink water? Uh, my question is, how much water do you drink every day, Adelie? How much water do you drink every day? Around one, one liter in a half. Really? Yeah. That's not bad. Okay. <laughs> okay, about one liter and a half. Hey, is it recommendable to drink at least one liter? People say one liter is okay. Do you agree? No? You don't, you disagree, so you need more than that, more than that. How about you, uh, Catherine? How much, how much water do you drink every day? Mm. Um, um. Should I should I change the question and, and ask how much coffee do you drink every day? <laughs> uh, never, never coffee. <laughs> wait, 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 how yeah. much coffee? How much coffee do you drink every day, Catherine? Uh, I not coffee. None. You can say none. N O N E. None. Nothing, right? Nothing. Or no. I don't drink any coffee. Repeat, I don't drink any coffee. I don't. I don't any drink co any coffee. So let me share, let me share the book. This is, this is apparently uh, what we are seeing now. Um, questions with how many restaurants how much crime so we can ask just no questions are there many is there much right or we can ask with how many and how much to be more specific okay do you have any questions so far no no no, we can continue, huh? Okay, good, good, good. In that case, let me move uh, on. These are chicken. some activities you have to do, actually. I hope you are completing them. Let's see. This is a reading you gotta do, then you gotta listen in. All right, you got, you have much work to do. You have much work to do on the platform. All right, almost there. So you guys are gonna be very busy with these activities. You got readings, you got listenings. You got a lot of work. Okay. So this is today's objective. Learn vocabulary for describing people. And as you know, when you describe someone, you can describe personality, right? And you can describe appearance. So today we're going to learn vocabulary to describe appearance. Okay, um, let's go over this. Hi, welcome to section nine. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after Please repeat. me. Hair. 
long brown hair, hair. short blonde hair, straight black hair, long curly long red hair, and a beard. Okay, repeat guys, long brown hair. Long, long brown, brown, brown hair. hair. Well, first of all, first of all, hair. 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 Long brown hair. Long, long brown, brown hair. hair. Short blonde hair. Short blonde hair. Short blonde hair. Short blonde hair. Short, blonde hair. Short, blonde hair. Straight. Straight, Straight black hair. Straight, Straight black hair. 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 hair, curly red hair, curly, curly red, red, hair. red hair, bald, 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 a mustache, a mustache, in in beard, in beard. beard. Yeah. Okay, okay, very good. I think it's a little confusing sometimes to pronounce hair. 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 Age. Young. Middle aged. Elderly. Looks. Handsome. Good looking. Pretty. Okay, we have H for H. We have young. Age. Repeat. Young. 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 Mm, okay, once again, repeat. Young. 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 Repeat. Young. 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 Okay. Young. Middle age. Middle age. Middle age. H. Age. Middle age. Middle age. Elderly. 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 Repeat. Young. 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 Middle age. Middle age. Elderly. 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 <laughs> okay, okay. Well, Elderly. it's because of the internet connection. Okay, okay. Okay, let's go with looks. 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 Okay, looks. handsome. Look. Handsome. Usually for handsome. men. Usually for men, you. right? Handsome. 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 Good looking. Good looking. Good looking. Good looking. Good, good looking is for both, right? Men or, or, or women. You can say good looking. Okay. It's possible, okay? Handsome is only for men, okay? And pretty, repeat pretty. 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 Pretty is similar to its synonym of beautiful. Okay, you can say beautiful or pretty. Okay, pretty. let's continue. Height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Okay, so we have height. 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 We have short. 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 Fairly. Fairly, fairly short. Fairly, fairly short. short. Which, which means fairly, it's a little, like similar to a little, right? Fairly short. Fairly, fairly short. short. Medium height. Medium, Medium height. Medium height. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's me medium, medium, medium height, medium height, medium height, 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 
Again, height. medium height. Medium height. Pretty tall. Pretty tall. Pretty tall. Pretty tall. And very tall. Very tall. Very tall. Very tall. Very good. Okay, you have any questions so far? For example, hate. hair, yeah. Hair. Medium height. Medium, medium height. Height. Medium height is like the regular, the regular height, right? Common height. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions so far? No questions. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to spell one of them and you're going to pronounce them. Okay? Ready? Ready? Ready. Okay. Ready. It's B A L D. Bold. What? Bold. Bald. Repeat, guys. Bald. Bald. He is bald. My dad is bald. Yes. Bald. Next. It's E L D E R L Y. Elderly. Elderly. Good job. Good job. Elderly. You know? Last station, right? All right. <laughs> Elderly, a very special age. Next. It's P R E T T Y. Pretty. 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 Okay, excellent. Pretty. Excellent. Next. It's Y O U. N G. Young. I'm sorry. Young. Young. Okay. Remember that is young. 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 You don't young. say young. Okay. You don't say young. You say young. Young. Okay. Very well. Very well. Outstanding. Can you? Can you tell? Oh, let's watch the rest. Let me check. Oh, that's it. That's it. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So those are to describe appearance. Appearance. Can you describe? Can you describe your hair? Can you describe your age? And can you describe your height? Can you do that for me? Uh huh. What do you look like? Repeat, guys. What do you look like? What did you do? What do you look? What do, what you, look do you look like? like? What do you look like what is your appearance? Do you what does what do does she look, look like? like? What does he look like? Is asking for no. appearance for description. Hey. Yes, remember brown, blonde. Talking about color, right? Long, short, right? Shape, straight, curly. I don't know. Tell me about you. Let's just start with. Let's just start with Jancy. Hello, Jancy Jimenez. Welcome. Good evening. What do you look like? Good evening. Um, I. My uh, my hair is black. Your hair is black. Um, I I'm short and a pretty. Okay, okay, <laughs> all right. So you're short. Okay. Um, you said your hair is. You said your hair is black. Yes. Is 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 your hair long? Is it long haired or or short it's hair? Long hair. It's long hair. It's long hair. Okay. Yes. Okay. I can I can imagine, right? I can use your my, my imagination. All okay. right. I appreciate it. What do you look like? Can you ask the question to one of your classmates, Jancy? 
Okay. What do you look like, Ana Lopez? Um, it's short, short black hair. I have. Uh, I have. Uh -huh. Short black hair. Yes. Uh huh. What are you missing? You're missing age and you're missing height. Repeat, please. You're missing, yeah, you said that you have uh, sh short black hair. You talk about your hair. So we have three things to talk about. We have to talk about hair. We have to talk about age and we have to talk about height. Yes. For example, mm -hmm. I am what? I have a short black hair. I am mm -hmm. maybe uh, middle age, I would say. <laughs> and I'm medium height, medium height. And I'm medium height. For your hair, you're going to say have. I have because it's a possession. Okay. For your age, you're going to use the verb to be. I'm or I am. Okay. And for your height, also, you need to use the verb to be. Can you try, Ana Lopez? Or... I'm, I have short. I have short. Short. Black hair. Yes. Okay, maybe we can try with Catherine. What do you look like, Catherine? <laughs> Tell us. I um. I have. Um, medium hair. Mm. You mm. can say I have short hair. Short hair. Uh, yes. I have short hair. Um, it's color brown. Brown, short. Okay, yeah. so you can say I have short brown hair. I have short. I have, I have short brown hair. Okay, okay, okay. Continue. Um. Are you young? Are you elderly? Are you pretty? Are you good looking? Are you? I'm pretty tall, very tall. I'm medium, I'm medium, medium tall. You can say medium height, medium height. height. Medium I am height. medium height. Uh -huh. I am medium height. Mm -hmm. I'm young. <laughs> You're young, young. I am young. young. I, I am young. young. Okay. I am young. Very well. Okay. <laughs> and good looking. I am good looking. You can say I am good looking. It's okay. I am good looking. All right, Miss. Thank you so much. Why don't we listen to Miss Jenny Escobar? What do you look like, Miss Jenny? Okay. <laughs> I have curly black hair. Okay. And I am... Um, I'm, I'm young. You, you, I am you, look, you say I'm yeah. young. I am. I am young. Um, I am good looking, and I am <laughs> a medium height. Medium height. <laughs> All right. So you're medium height. Could you pronounce young? 
I am young. young. I am young. young. I am young. Young. Very well. Very well. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. Okay, let's try with Sheila Portillo. What do you look like, Sheila? Hello. Of uh, repeat. Uh -huh. repeat, please. What do you look like? Mm. What's, what's your appearance like? That question, what do you look like? It's your appearance physically. Do you understand? Um, no, le entendí lo último, teacher, perdón. No, 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 no worries, no worries. It's a description que se of corta. yourself. Yeah, oh, really? Okay, okay, okay. Listen, listen to Adelie, okay? Listen to Adelie Cortez. What do you look like, Miss Adelie Cortez? I have long brown hair. Okay, long brown hair. Yeah, I am... Middle, medium, middle age, or <laughs> middle age? You think so? Yeah, I almost are elderly. <laughs> oh, you think so? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we don't talk about that. <laughs> okay. Yes. Let's just keep that topic. Okay. And uh, uh, what else? Well, and okay. your well, ah. you need to say an adjective to describe you, like good looking, pretty. I think that I'm good looking. I think, but I am fairly short. You're fairly short. Yeah, I'm okay. fairly short. Do you do you wear high heels sometimes? No, I don't like. I don't like wear high heels. You don't like. You don't like to wear high heels. Okay. No, okay. Okay. Just so. flats. Just Your flat. Tennis. Okay, no problem. <laughs> as long as you feel comfortable, as long yeah. as you feel happy, right? <laughs> awesome, awesome. Thank you for your answer. Very interesting, very interesting. I don't think I disagree on the age part, but uh, we're going to leave that topic for another class. <laughs> nice job, nice job. Can you, can you now... Um, can you now describe, describe um, someone in your family? Can you describe someone in your family? Your dad, your mom, uh, your husband, your wife. Can you describe? Don't, don't show me a picture. It's not necessary, but uh, what I need is the description. Can you try that to describe? For example, my dad, my dad is very funny. He's a very funny person. Um, he's fairly short. He's fairly short. And you know, guys, in this part, maybe we are missing the eyes part because we can also describe eyes. People have, you know, different uh, eye color. For example, my dad, he, he has, he has, right? He has green eyes. And, 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 I don't have that, but you know, uh, he has that. So he has it. He has green eyes. He is fairly short. He's a very funny individual. Um, and he's elderly. I think he is uh, yeah. 70, 70 years old. Um, he has uh, short black hair, as I told you. So you can imagine, you can imagine him, right? Short black hair, fairly tall, elderly. Uh, he's very good looking. He's very good looking because, because he, has, he has green eyes. So that's a very nice characteristic on him. <laughs> All right. Can you try to describe someone in your family or someone in the class? Let's try with Karen Guevara. Welcome, Karen. Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Go ahead. Um, um, in my family, his mom is, is very uh, cry.
Yes, so you're describing your mom. Yes. Okay, I, I need a full description. Like I need, I need to know about what's her hair like? What's her age like? Um, what does she look like? What's her height like? You need to talk about all those characteristics to give me a complete, a complete idea so I can imagine what your mother looks like. You follow me? Yes, okay. Um, she's, oh, oh, she has a short black hair. Okay. Um, she, She's is short. She's she's short, short like short, like like in the picture, the little the little the little 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 thing, very short, fairly short, fairly short or medium high. What do you think? Um, high. Medium height. Medium height. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. What color are her eyes? Um, she has a brown eyes. Excellent, excellent. See, that gives me more information. I like it, I like it. Do we have any volunteer for this one? Or can... <laughs> Karen, you want to try, Karen? Just two or no? You got it. No, it's okay. You did good. You did good. You did good. So what do you think? Women, women, we have many women. Actually, we have no, no uh, men today in the class, which is very, very uh, awkward. And in, in, I have a question. I have a question. It's, Girls. It's is today is Women's Day. It's true. Congratulations. Okay, Applause you for you. <laughs> One like for you and all the beautiful women. One, two, like. Very nice. You are what? The best creation, right? On this planet. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> I even forgot, um, I was going to ask you about, about if you like, if you prefer mustache, do you prefer mustache or do you prefer beard or none of, none of the above? Uh-huh. <laughs> the mustache. Oh, you like, you like, you prefer the mustache? That's interesting. Yes. That's interesting. <laughs> How about you, Jenny? Do you? Do you like beards? No, none. Not really? No. What about mustache? No. So you don't, you like uh, shave, shave, right? You, let, you leave the person shaved. Looks looks more formal for you, right? That's good. That's just a curiosity, out of curiosity question for me. <laughs> so let's go, guys. Let's move on. Let me just share my screen again. And we're going to go to the next part here on the uh, presentation. Here, she's very tall. Let's watch this one. Hello to all. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes. Her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. <laughs> she won't tell me. It's, it's a bad topic, talking about age. She's 
gorgeous. It's a bad topic. Let's listen and repeat. Let's listen and repeat, ladies, women. Let's go. I hear, repeat, I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. I hear I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. New, a new girlfriend. A new, a new girlfriend. I hear, I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Repeat, hear. Here. 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 Yes, that's the simple present, right? I hear. Okay, repeat. Her name's Ashley and she's gorgeous. And she's gorgeous. And she's gorgeous. 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 Can you spell gorgeous, class? G-O-R-G-E-O-U-S. Repeat, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Do you know what's the meaning of gorgeous? No, we don't. You don't? It's like, it's like super beautiful. Do you understand? Mm, yes. Uh -huh. It's like, che, it's like. Pero es que. Yes. Uh -huh. La imagen, bueno, por lo menos yo la veo un poco borrosa. No sé si solo yo. Está borrosa. Are Entonces sure? no, no se alcanza a leer. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Y todos ven así borroso? No. No. Okay, let me try again. Y si no funciona, it's because, it's because of your internet connection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me try again. Okay, let's try again. But thank you for telling me. Thank you for telling me. Anyways, uh, we're talking about this adjective is gorgeous. It's very, very um, common. It's very popular. Gorgeous. I hope that's gorgeous. better. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So it's like super beautiful, like a celebrity, right? That gorgeous. Gorgeous and she's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Be really? really? What does she look like? What does she what look does like? like? What does? What does? What does she look like? What does she look like? What does she look like? What does she what does does look, look like? like? Description, appearance. That's this question. That's why Randy starts describing, well, she's very tall. Repeat, well, she's very tall. Well, she's very, very tall. tall. And Emily says, how? How tall? Repeat, how, how tall? tall? How, how, how tall? How tall? How tall? How tall? How tall? About, about six feet two, I suppose. About, about, about six, six, six two. Two. About is like approximately, right? About, about six, six feet two, I suppose. Two. I suppose. And Emily says, wow, that is tall. Repeat, that is tall. Wow, that is tall. What is color tall. is her hair? What color, what color is her hair? Hair. 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 What color is her hair? What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. She has hair. 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 And how old is she? <laughs> and how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. 
I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. She won't she tell, won't me. tell me. <laughs> okay, let's practice, ladies. You are Emily and teacher Caleb is Randy. All right? Let me, let me listen to your pronunciation on three, two, one. Let's go. I hear you I have, hear you have, have you heard you heard you from Randy. 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 Yes. Her name is Ashley and she's gorgeous. Really? really? What, what does she look, she look like? like? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? How tall? How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow. Oh, so cool. What color is her hair? Hair, okay. Hair. okay. She has beautiful red hair. Okay. And how old is she? she? Is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. <laughs> okay. Maybe we have problems with the verb here. Here. <laughs> Here, the simple present here. 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 What is the simple here. past? Do you know the simple past? Heard. Heard. Mm -hmm. I heard with le the letter D at the end. Heard. And the past participle is heard. the same. Here, heard, heard. Here, heard, heard. Okay. Here. Then maybe we're having problems with hair. Hair. Here. Practice that Here. word, please. Hair. Hair. Okay. Remember, we can make a specific questions when it comes about when it comes about appearance. You can say how questions. For example, how tall? How tall is she? Right? How, how tall is she? Yes. How how height? How tall? It's okay. It's the same. How tall? Or how height? Okay. How 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 question? Okay. How, how old is she? How old is he? Right. How old is he? Any questions so far? So far, so good. So this is very important because uh, you use it to describe people. You use it to describe people, okay? Let's go to the next objective. This is how to describe, ask and answer questions about appearance. Still talking about appearance, a little grammar information. Can you can you visualize this information? Can you see? Yes. yes. Okay. Describing people, we have general appearance, we have age, we have height, and we have hair, hair, hair. hair. Okay, hair. excellent, excellent. Let's go, help me out. Let's go with Anna Jansi. General appearance, what does she look like? Can you tell the answers? She... Yes. Like, yes. Yes. ¿Cuál es? ¿Cuál es mi bus? ¿Cuál es mi qué? I'm sorry. ¿Cómo dice la la pregunta? Uh, what does she look like? What is the answer? Can you read? Eh, sería yes. She is tall. She is tall. Uh huh. With red hair. Yes. Uh huh. She's. She's what? Or uh, she wore wore eyes. <laughs> what was the pronunciation of this adjective, guys? This is an adjective. I told you, it's an adjective. Similar to beautiful. Similar to beautiful, but it's like. Super beautiful. What's the pronunciation, class? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm sorry. Gorgeous. 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 Repeat. Repeat. I am gorgeous. 
I am gorgeous. gorgeous. <laughs> of course. Gorgeous. Of course. Gorgeous. gorgeous. Okay. Gorgeous. Guys, when a person asks you what does she look like? For example, what does your what does your husband look like? What does your wife look like? What does your boss look like? What does the new co-worker look like? This question is asking you for a complete description. You, can, you cannot say only she's tall or, or he's tall. You need to say more information, like talking about height, talking about hair, talking about age, talking about appearance. So that's why this answer is she's tall with Look, include any information with red hair. She's gorgeous. Okay, I have a complete idea. Okay, next question, Miss Sheila Portillo. Go ahead. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go over the next question, please. Does he wear glasses? Glasses? Glasses. Uh-huh. Yes, and he has a beard. 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 Does he wear glasses? Punctual question. Does he wear? Does, does he, he wear have glasses? Does he have a mustache? Does he use a beard? Does he yes, wear glasses? Yes. Repeat, does he wear glasses? Does he wear glasses? Wear. Remember, wear for clothes, wear. for accessories. Does yes? he wear glasses? Does he wear glasses? Does, does he she, wear glasses? Does she wear earrings? Yes? Does she wear earrings? Repeat. Does she Does wear she earrings? Wear earrings? Does she yeah, wear she earrings? Okay, okay, very well. So let's go over H. Help me out, um, Adelie Cortez. H. How old is she? She's about 32. She's in her 30, 30, 30s. Huh? Yes, yes, thirties. Okay. Um, when you know, when you don't know, when you have an idea, you say about, right? She's about approximately, maybe thirty-two, around thirty-one, thirty-three, around that, right? She's about thirty-two. Repeat. She's about thirty-two. She's about about thirty-two. When, when, when I don't know, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but I know that she's 30, 30 something, 31, 32, 33, 34, until 39. You can say 30s. Repeat, 30s. 30s. She's in her 30s. 30s. What is the meaning? That maybe she is 31, maybe she is 39, she is in her 30s. She is in that window. Do you understand? Okay. Mm -hmm. You can say, for example, you can say, I am, I am in my 20s. Repeat, I am in my 20s. I am, I am in, in my, my 20s. 20s. You're saying that maybe you're 21, maybe you are 25, maybe you are 29, right? In your 20s, 40s. Repeat, I'm in my 40s. I'm in my 40s. I'm in my 40s, right? I'm in my 40s. Around 40, what, 40, 41, 42, 43, 49, maybe. So it's an approximate, it's an idea. Next question. Let's go, Miss Jenny. How old is she? Is he? He is, he is 20. I'm sorry? How old is he? He is in his 20s. Correct. Say 20s. He's in his 20s. 
How 20s. old is he? He is in his 20s. Giving an idea, right? Giving an idea about his age. And let's go with height. Height. Let me ask you for your help. Karen, Yvonne, let's go over height. How tall is she? She's one married eight. 88 meter 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 88 mm -hmm. she's six feet two correct she's one meter 88 remember that we can use meters and we can use feet when we when we talk about height right so you can say with meters she's one meter 88 centimeters in that case uh, she is uh, one meter 88. Repeat, guys. She's one meter 88. She was one meter 88. She is, what, what I'm saying when, when I say she is, I'm saying a meter. She, she, she is, is one meter one 88. Meter. Yes. One, one that is the context meter, of the verb to be right 80, there. Or you can say she is six feet two. Repeat six, 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 six feet two. Six, 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 six feet two. Six feet two. Next question, uh, Veronica. Are you there? Yes. Uh, what sería la, la... We're talking about height on the second question, Miss. Okay. How tall is she? She's one meter. Mm -hmm. Eight, eighty-eight. 88. Mm -hmm. She's uh, six feet two. Okay, continue. How tall is he? He's quite short. Very well, Miss. Thank you so much. <laughs> Fantastic job, guys. Congratulations. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your participation and your dedication. And happy Women's Day. Oh, my God. Where are the men? <laughs> happy Women's Day, guys, for sure. Congratulations. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, okay teacher. Stay Thank safe. You, teacher. Be safe. My pleasure. See you tomorrow, 8 p.m. Goodbye. Goodbye, Bye, teacher. teacher. Yeah.